so everything's going great so we've got our our WAMP server set up um, the next thing we need to do okay is we need to go to the router and forward the port so you'll have to find out how to do it in your own router but um, on this one I go here I go to NAT I go virtual server okay and I'll put it on rule index 1 and application is HTTP okay um, who do I want it to forward to I want to forward it to me again we can look at WAMP developer for this there's there's my local number uh, my local IP sorry and we just put that in quickly and I say save okay now that port is forwarded to me so in other words any requests that come in from outside to port 80 will be forwarded to my PC okay so we can have a look at that we go to WAMP developer and we copy the external IP address and we go here and I just go in there we go so that's now coming in through externally and as you can see it's now develop um, it's showing my local home page okay so now we've got that working now we need to get a domain um, because obviously you don't want your um, to have to hand out your IP to people to to see your website um, easiest way for that is to use dynamic DNS uh, which is dyndns.com or dyn.com okay I've got us I've got a account with him already so I'm just going to sign in Once you've signed in, <coughs> go to Add Hosting Services. Right, so we're going to add one. Um, I'm going to use dyndns.info. I'm going to call it Home Hosting. Okay. You put your IP address in there, and you just say Activate. Uh, requested okay let me call it um, cyber hosting activate okay we just wait for it to activate that and then once it's activated there we go Oh, that's why I couldn't. I had already had it. Let me just delete that quickly. Okay, so once we've got that, we can now have a look, and that should. There we go. So now I've got a URL. The problem is, um, you won't have a static IP address what you will have is a dynamic IP address in other words every time your router either gets restarted or you get disconnected from the internet your ISP will assign you a new IP number um, and you have to somehow let my DNS know that um, <coughs> there is a program that you can download uh, I don't use it so I don't know where it is you <laughs> but um, on most routers nowadays you have the uh, D, uh, my DNS settings okay so if I come here I go to DDNS okay that's for my DNS I activate it so my host name is cyberhosting.dyndns.info uh, my email address is admin at cyberhost.me my username is clefty and my password and I say save now what will happen is every time my router sees that there's a new IP number it will automatically contact um, dynamic DNS and it 
will um, update my IP number on their systems automatically. So should I change my IP address, uh, it will still link to here. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to install something. Um, just make a website that works, I suppose. Uh, let's just quickly... Uh, I'll do a PHPB forum. Okay, so we're going to download the PHPB. Um, close that. Close that. I can close this now. We're finished here. There's nothing else we have to do in the router. We've forwarded the port. We've also activated the dynamic DNS on it. Okay, let's download PHPB. Well, we just wait for that to download. It's a little bit slow today. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this while it downloads. Okay, so it's downloaded now. So basically, we just um, extract it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's WAMP developer, websites. It's my default website, and it's the web root. I'm going to just delete the files that are in there in the meantime. And then I'm just going to put the forum into there. Okay, you obviously don't want to, I mean, you can run a, a simple website from home. But obviously if your website's going to be majorly busy, you know, your your ADSL line is not designed to cope with it, but this is a brilliant way just to start out. So let's just go to cyber hosting. Okay, so there we go. There's the PHPB, and I'm just going to go install. All right. Okay, that's fine. So we start the install. Now, it says that we need a uh, database. So let's just get a database up and going. You're going to PHP my admin database. I'm going to call it PHPB. And also, I just need to assign a password quickly. Okay. So the database server will be localhost. <coughs> you can leave that blank. Database name is PHPB. Uh, and you can proceed to the next step. There we go. It's connected. Uh, your administrator name, your password. Okay, and this you can just all leave blank. Now it's creating the database tables. Um, so that's it. You that that's exactly how. And there we go. Because I had um, set up the mail function, I've been emailed by the board that the board is up and running. Um, so that's great. Um, of course, we just got to delete the install directory. And now we can come back here and go to the board index. So there you go. And as you can see, it's quite fast. I mean, it's, it's you know, I've, uh, I've only got a four mig line, um, so it's nothing that's fantastic, but it just shows that you can have your own website hosted from, from home. Um, of course, when your forum reaches maybe 20,000 members, you want to consider getting a proper server, but it's a great way to start and it's free. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, you need any help? feel free to give me a shout at admin at cyberhost.me.